Hello. <laughs> I like her. I like yeah. her hat. It's a good look, isn't it? Got the. Cool it is a good cooking. look. Yeah, this is a, a late birthday present from my sis. Oh, pretty, very pretty nice. Cool. Very nice. Pretty cool. I'm like. You should get an executive producer in the bottom of it as well. <laughs> executive producer. Uh, I think I'm the cre creative director, actually. I'm the creative director. I come up with all the creative foods. You just do the editing. <laughs> you're just the work lackey. You just get do what you're told. Yeah, that's yeah. Me. Yeah, you, you're at the bottom of the credits and nobody waits for unless it's a Marvel movie. <laughs> well, that's just because your name begins with A, so you come first. That's all this is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm right at the top of the alphabet. It's lovely. Either way, look at my hat. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I'll be wearing it for a while. It is I might, pretty I might, cool that, actually, yeah. I might lose it later, but uh, yeah. I'll wear it for, for, a, for a while anyway. Oh, itchy eye. Oh, sorry. No, you have to wear it for the whole episode. Yeah. Mwah. <laughs> you should, if you forgot your hat at work, you'd be given a paper hat, a really tall one. Like, so the, I'm, the classic, I'm six like... foot. I'm pretty tall. Yeah. Yeah, like that high, but it was paper. So every time you walked into the fridge, it would knock it off. You must be the most infuriating thing to wear. You'd never forget your hat after that. <laughs> Can you tell me like the origin of that, that the, the, you know, the tall chef's hat? Like, where does that come from? No idea. No, no idea. idea. Uh, Cut. No, no idea. No. <laughs> I feel like there's something to do with pastry, but I can't, I can't remember. Mm. I do know that um, the whole chef, uh, like the head chef and all that, is a military base. It's based on the military. Really? I guess. Yeah, like, you in your, the, like it, your general on top is your head chef, and then goes down and down to your privates. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, uh, <laughs> do we have any announcements this week? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I'd like to say thank you very much to Shane Daly and Neil uh, for doing our poached eggs. Poached eggs and black pudding and potato dish. Delicious. Look delicious. Look really nice. Fair play, guys. Fair play. Yeah. Thanks a million. Uh, look good. And I think it's I think it's up on our Instagram now. So, much appreciated. Yeah, it is up on the Instagram, yeah. yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Much appreciated, yeah. So we're just going to do... Condiments this week. Condiments. I, I know it's, it sounds strange because a condiment is it's like an ingredient. We're making ingredients. So it's like yeah, we're making it's nice. ingredients. It's like Inception. You know, you gotta go deeper. So get out of my mind. That's exactly what I was thinking. Inception. <laughs> So you put together what sounds like a lovely, a lovely good few combinations of things. Uh, whiskey, bacon, jam. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm using rum though. You're using rum. That's okay. I, I have plenty yeah. of whiskey here. Obviously. <laughs> um, so after that, there's chipotle ketchup. So hot, hot and spicy. Um, got a recipe for a garlic and herb mayonnaise and a beetroot chutney. This all sounds delicious. Beetroot chutney, yeah. It does sound delicious. And we can use many, many things. All right. Well, I guess without further ado, let's get cracking. Adieu? Adieu. Mm. Yeah, let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Ooh. Cooped up cooking. Yeah, okay, I think we'll start with the uh, chipotle. Ketchup because it takes about two hours. Yeah. 
ケチョケチョケチョケチョケチョダイ Right. So, I'm just gonna. There's a lot of chopping this week, so I'm gonna get you to do a quick knife course. Yes, knife tutorial. Because you got new knives, and I, want, I don't want you to cut yourself. So, I'm just gonna peel the onion real quickly. Peeling an onion, yes.、Yeah. It's quite yeah, easy. It's, it's more, it becomes must memory. We're gonna dice a whole onion because we're gonna end up using、um, onion in nearly everything. Okay. Because onion is. Fundamental. b u t as a RuPaul、uh, reference, if anyone gets that, hit me up. <laughs> you, you love your RuPaul, don't you? I love RuPaul. It is one of、yeah. the best shows out there. It's great. I just, I just love it. I love the bitchiness. I love the costumes and the grandeur. and It's such a great art form. And I dressed up in drag once. I know. Yeah, you can put that picture up. You can do it now. I'll do a drag picture. <laughs> I'll absolutely put that photo up.、Uh, you got compliments on that photo. I showed a couple of people over here. They're like, whoa, jeez, your mate now scrubs up well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take all the credit. I have to thank my friend Gintara. She's the one who actually did the whole makeup and did everything. I was just a model for the day. I was too committed, though. I was like, you want me to shave my、Perfect. legs? Do you want me? Do I need to wax? Any, anything you want me to do? <laughs> I'm still for it. Yeah. Sure, when you're doing something like that, you have to just dive right in. Just take, take me. Yeah, exactly. Beautify me. Yeah. yeah. You looked amazing. So, yeah, I'll, I'll my, pop that picture up. The, my wife got the weirdest message I got asked to do it. But I just, I messaged Sophie because I was talking to my friend in t a r a at work about RuPaul. I was just like, oh, I need to do. A makeup thing for,、uh, for my college course. Do you want to do drag? I just messaged my wife, and what are we doing on the 8th? It's like, nothing. Why? It's like, okay, I'm going to go do drag. A <laughs> <Like> , like, <laughs> random message to get from your husband. Right, all right, chopping onions, right, we'll get back to it. Stop talking about drag. Right,、um, so your knife, your knife should never, the tip of your knife should never leave the board. The so when you're chopping anything, your tip of your knife will always stay on the board. Okay. And you just rock the knife forwards and back. It's not up and down, it's forwards and back. An, os- an oscillating、yeah. motion. Ro- oscillating motion. Yeah. So then.、Um, also, your hand. A hand is very important. You don't want to cut your fingers off, obviously. That would be a bad idea. So you always hold your hand like a claw. Like a claw. A claw. And this part of your knife, this, this part of your fingers. Is the guide to your knife. So your knife sits against these fingers, keeping your tips of your fingers curled back so you never actually cut them. So when you're,、okay. when you move the knife back with your knife,、uh, sorry, you move the knife back with your hand. <laughs> so I'll just do a quick demonstration from the other camera. So when you're chopping, Blade sits by those fingers and down. And you just move your fingers back. You guide the knife with just your fingers. Never lift it. Well, obviously, when you're chopping it on, you have, to, you have to lift it. But when you're chopping it on the board, the blade is never leaving. Your knife is never leaving the board. I don't know if people can see that. I'm just doing it slowly at the minute. Obviously, the more you're used to it, the quicker you'll get. Your, hand is natu- your fingers will naturally stay out of the way of the blade. Yeah, it's,、uh, it's actually quite difficult. Yeah, it is. It's weird. It's weird. It's not a natural position to hold your hand, but you will get used to it to the point where you, you'll, you'll naturally hold an ingredient. Oh, and your fingers will naturally be held away from it. Just take it. The main thing is just take your time with your knives. Make sure they're sharp. And just, yeah, you'll, you'll, just, you'll get there eventually. So, what, what have you been up to this week? Up to anything exciting? Anything exciting?、Um, uh, I completed Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> now, I know I was telling you a couple weeks ago that I, I got very into that game、um, and I completed it. 
and yeah. it was a, an emotional journey for me, Luke. It was an emotional journey. It is an journey. emotional game. <laughs> it really is. I, my onion chopped. We need to chop a lot of other stuff though, don't we? Tomatoes? What we do with those? Yeah, so we need to chop all the tomatoes, the cooking apple, the peppers. I'm going to add some extra peppers into mine so I'm, I'm a bit spicy. I'm going to literally yeah. put it all into a pot, except the sugar, and we're going to let it simmer for two hours. Okay. Ketchup goes with everything, so... It really does. Especially if you kind of, um, you know, jazz it up a bit like this as well. Next thing you know, your ketchup isn't just for chips. Yeah, it might be sitting there on the side of your cheese platter, if you're so inclined. <laughs> Tomatoes on the cheese platter, I don't know, that's going a bit fast. Is it? Would you, ah, uh, bit of, you know, bit of chili, chili ketchup with your cheese. I don't know. I don't know, I think that, I think that goes. Whatever makes you happy, Stephen, ever makes you happy. Actually, I've got a few comments from our show. Oh, yeah? Everyone says, my, ac my accent is gone. Your Irish accent. Gone. Well, that's disappointing. But it's the, it's the content of your personality, Luke, that I want. Oh. So. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. you're, an, you're an Englishman now. I am an Englishman now. Can't, I can't can't deny it anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna peel the apple the old school way with a knife. With a knife. With a knife. I was incredibly jealous of you during the week when you told me what you have scheduled. Do you wanna tell the audience that I'm, that I'm driving the Batmobile? You are driving the Batmobile. Which Batmobile? Is Adam West Batmobile. Adam West. I actually hate you. <laughs> I actually hate you. <laughs> oh yeah, I've put everything straight into the pot. These uh, chipotle or chipotle chilies are quite, uh, quite dry. I'm gonna add in 250 milliliters of cider vinegar. 250 of cider vinegar. Just there. Just peeling your apple. <laughs> Just peeling my apple. Oh, right. well, I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients in, which is 25 grams of paprika and some 25 grams of my salt. And then the sugar is 250 grams, so we'll leave that to the end. Okay. Now everything is mixed up, so I'm going to get it on the stove, bring it up to a simmer, and we're going to leave it for two whole hours. What, now, what would you what would you put with this or serve this with? Oh, I have already planned to put, make a nice spicy burger. I'm gonna put this tomato sauce with it, with the chili bacon jam, good good strong cheddar cheese. I'm gonna make my own burger. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be my St. Patrick's Day breakfast. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, dude. Yeah. We're bringing this up to a simmer. Yeah, and then you can leave it. Just leave it be. Don't go near it. We're just gonna don't go at it. On don't touch it. Stuff. All right. Up next is start the chutney. So beetroot. Beetroot chutney. Oh, excellent! Because my beetroot is just being cooked. Right. Gonna show you a quick way of how to peel beetroot if you don't have it already pre-bought, you actually have your own beetroot. So the easiest way to do it is when they're still hot. Okay. And you can just literally pull the skin off them. Do it with gloves. I stupidly didn't buy any gloves this week. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. But it's the easiest and quickest way to peel beetroot. No, it looks like I've been touching an alien. Yeah, I'm not I don't struggling, want to but it's going to be purple juice everywhere. <laughs> All over your kitchen. <laughs> Gee, look at us, stay alive. Uh, all right, I'm going to take my rings off and get into this. All right, so we want this beetroot chopped. Yeah. Yeah, little like, <laughs> centimeter dice, because this is going into, it's going, like they're already cooked, so they're going into the chutney as a bit of texture. Yeah. 
and beetroots. It's so delicious. Now, uh, your recipe called for a choice of pears or apples on, on the chutney. So I went with yeah. pears to mix it up, just to mix it up a bit. Oh, me too. Me too. We don't actually plan oh. any of this, so just... just... It's just that we live in each other's head, red free. Uh, I've finished dicing my beetroot, are you getting on? Uh, my beetroot is diced. I'm just chopping some pears now at the minute. Yeah, I'm just going to use this chutney for uh, cheese. I've started to lot, I've started eating quite a bit of cheese. We used to hate cheese, all the different cheeses, but I do, mm. I do like the cheese board now. So I'm just going to start peeling, going to start peeling my pears. Will I peel my pears? Uh -oh. No, I'm going to leave my pears with the skin on. Extra fiber. Extra fiber, so sure, it's good for you. Keep you regular. Eat you regular. <laughs> All right, in with the beetroot, in with the pear. Just bang, straight in the pot. Now, there's uh, a lot of spice actually going in with this, isn't there? Yeah. All spice. Yeah. I'm just gonna roughly chop everything because this gets blended down. And then we'll add the beetroot in afterwards, like put the texture back into it. So I'm gonna rough chop my pears, rough chop my onion, gonna put some garlic, some ginger through it. Yeah. Take the root out of the onion. Maybe cut my finger there, like on television. If I say on television, I watch on I the watch television. On my television. I on know. The television, <laughs> yeah. I I feel like Marty Whelan or something. <laughs> Marty Whelan. Oh, didn't he do Winning Street? He does. Come here. He follows me on Twitter. No joke. <laughs> no joke. I'm friends with Marty Whelan on Twitter. <laughs> Why does so, he follow uh, you? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, right? I'll tell you. There's a connection uh, between me and Marty. Uh, is like I share a lot of photography on Twitter because I'm a camera guy. I like I love getting my snaps and stuff. And you should look at my Instagram actually because it's pretty good. <laughs> Self plug. Woo! But uh, Marty Whelan works in uh, Lyric FM in. The, the classical uh, music station it's based in Limerick. So he obviously saw one of my photos oh, over on Twitter. They're, they're, they're on Cruises Street, I think, in Limerick. But I might be wrong. But uh, yeah, so he started following me for uh, my, my my photographs. <laughs> uh, so, I miss, I miss Anne Doyle. Oh, she's royalty. Wow. Yeah. 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 I was smashed as well. Me, me and one of the chefs, we were out of our mind drunk. <laughs> like, you just straight up, oh my God, you're Anne Doyle. My man watches you every night at nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Poor woman just, want, just wants to have a drink by herself. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I have my onion. Good to go. Here you go. Don't forget to stir your tomato sauce, make sure it doesn't catch at the bottom. Yeah. Allspice. So I have the ground allspice, so I might just put in like a teaspoon, I guess. Yeah, I've got ground allspice as well. I'm just going to put a teaspoon in. It reminds me of Christmas allspice. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's the smell of Christmas right there. So I'm just gonna measure out my raisins. I got ra I got saltines actually. Let's see, so half a cup. Yeah, so I have a mix of stuff here. I'll give you a look. So I have uh, oh, yeah. sultanas, raisins, golden currants, and cranberries. So fancy. I'm gonna put 128 grams of brown sugar in the mix as well. 
Right, well, I'm going to put red wine vinegar in this because it's um, red. Yeah, so I'm going to put 250 milliliters of red wine vinegar in. Yeah, and this one, you just add, you add all the ingredients in, except for you, and then we'll just cook it out. Easy as pie. Easy as that. Sweet. So the beetroot, the, Easy as the beetroot goes in at the very end. Yeah. And how long is this cooking for? This is cooking for, we're going to do 20 minutes, and then we're going to add the beetroot in and put it in for another 20 minutes. Okay. Right, bacon, chili, jam, whiskey. Well, you're doing whiskey, I'm Whis doing rum. What kind of whiskey I'm, are you doing? I'm glad you asked. Let's talk whiskey, because I love whiskey. Whiskey is my favorite so, spirit. I was going to use this, which is Jameson uh, Stout Edition Cask Mates. So it's Jameson aged in whiskey or in Guinness barrels. But that was actually too tasty, and I ended up drinking quite a bit of it. <laughs> so, uh, so that's going back over there. But I have a lovely bottle of Kilbegan, which is a lovely backup whiskey. And um, yeah, you can't beat it. I love. Wow, what's your favorite whiskey? My favorite whiskey is probably a ten-year Redbreast. You can't really go wrong. I do like a 12 year old bush nose. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Black label. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the black label, yeah. I'm a big fan of whiskey. Um, I cook with it, I make sauces with it, I sit down in the evening, I, I drink with it, and I kind of feel, get that, you know, that Don Draper, Mad Men kind of feeling in, in the evening, and I'm just sitting down, sipping a whiskey, you know. Do you drink it straight? Uh, with ice. Do you? Do you drink yeah, straight? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'd rarely have a mixer now in my in my whiskey. Although I'm partial to um, uh, Jameson and ginger ale every once in a while. I think. Well, yes. Yeah. And lime. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, yeah. Whoever whoever was in the marketing department for Jameson that day, and they were like, "Lads, what about ginger ale?" Boom. Game changer. <laughs> Game changer. Game, Game changer. Well, let's get cracking. This is another thing. We're just gonna chop everything and get it yeah. ready. We're gonna dice my onion. <laughs> this one we actually do have to do dices because it's it's not being blended down anymore. So, so we have to a little bit get it, get it thin. Yeah. Oh no, that onion was a bit strong. Go on. Not not on the ink You're yeah, not gonna shift gears. <laughs> oh, I covered the camera with the bloody golden syrup. <laughs> I'd say everything I've done for the last 10 minutes hasn't been spot. So I got some nice steak in here and I'm going to dice this. Try it almost as small as I diced my onions. Literally got uh, half a kg of, of bacon here, so it's going to be quite, quite a lot going in. Yeah. Well, who doesn't like bacon? Oh, bacon. It's just one of those things, isn't it? That just is, it's, it's happiness, like. Just let me know when you're ready to continue on with the jam. I've diced everything. Uh, yeah, I'm, like, I've quite a lot of streaky bacon to get through here. It's like 500 grams of the stuff, so. Yeah, so, yeah no worries. Okay. I've got more Irish products to show today. This is gonna be a new feature. Every week you're gonna find more Irish products that I can buy here in England, but I can't because that reminds me of home. I got Elite. <laughs> oh, yes. Kimberly Biscuit. Oh, crack out an old cup of tea and want to horse your way right through now. a, <laughs> a mid-meal mid snack. Mid-meal snack. You, knew, you, knew, you used to get one of these when you went to visit one of your parents' friends and you'd just sit yeah. in the living room quietly with no television on or be, be, be on good. if you on a program you wouldn't be allowed to watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just sit there, be good, I won't be long. 
four hours later, you still sat there waiting. <laughs> yeah, or you're stuck watching like Nationwide or something. <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I'm gonna blend my chutney. Okay. Uh, I have one rasher more to do. Right, so my chutney's been on for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Pears are yeah. soft, but not fully cooked. So I'm gonna blend it down a little bit. Blending it down to what kind of texture are we looking for? Uh, almost like a jam, but I'm not sure how much liquid is that uh, needs to be reduced. So this is why I'm letting it down so I can see what our next steps are. It smells incredible. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting smells in this kitchen right now. Uh, now I'm gonna get my beetroot in. Mm. That is right. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that is. That's so sweet. That's delicious. Yeah. Whoa. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in the bottom of my pan. So I'm going to get me on yeah. the in. Okay. Get in the ingans. Kind of saute them. Saute and onions. I'm gonna let them soften before I put in my bacon. Okay, well, my onions are frying up. Yeah, so they're not cooked, they're just softened. I'm gonna start adding in my bacon. So we're all that yeah. lovely fat to drain out. But my bacon is not as crispy as. Most people like it, but I don't like really crispy bacon. I want a bit of a chew to this. So now I'm going to add in my liquid. Yeah, I'm going to put in my rum. So I've got my coffee, my golden syrup, and my rum. All right. Get it all in. So whiskey in. Coffee in. Golden, golden syrup is so tasty. Now you're not thinking, you're gonna add in, you're gonna leave the vinegar out until the last five to 10 minutes. Oh, I can smell the rum. Rummy, rummy, rummy. It's so yummy. Bravo. In a rich man's world. Da -da -da. <laughs> and then I'm going to add 35 grams of brown sugar in as well. And I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. Mm, I Did smell you coffee, it? I smell rum. I smell yum. And we let that simmer for about an hour. Yeah. All right, get it all in there, except the vinegar that goes in last. So I'll just get my brown sugar in. I'm taking my chutney off. Oh yeah? I might do the same so because... Yeah. Yeah. It's like 20 minutes. There's a nice consistency to it. <laughs> oh, I just put my face over the whiskey. Oh. It's just a bag oh. of alcohol straight into my face. <laughs> Lovely. Mm. Don't forget to season your chutney. It's salt. Bit of pepper. Mm -mm -mm. Lovely bit of tartness right at the end. Yeah, it already tastes uh, tastes great. Yeah, the sweetness of the beetroot. You can get the allspice as well. The lovely winter or well, rainy day chutney. Yeah, it's gonna go great with this with the soda bread I made. I'm gonna decant my uh, chutney with my pots. You're going to decant it, so pour out li yeah. the liquid. Uh, yeah, sure. No, I'm putting it into my, putting oh, it into you're... my uh, pots. 
I will do the exact same. All right. Uh, I'm gonna add in my sugar to my tomato ketchup before it's at the snail. Who adds a spicy ketchup? <laughs> well, you wanted it spicy, ooh, didn't ooh, you? Ooh. Yeah, dude, oh, that is delicious. Mostly, mostly sugar. <laughs> okay, get the sugar in there. Oh, that is delicious, Luke. Mm. Yeah. I'm so happy we're making this stuff. Ooh. Oh, there is a hit off it. Bye. <laughs> Mayonnaise. Mayo. Let's mayonnaise. do it. Oh, I like what you got. We're gonna hand blend it. So I've got in a bowl of three egg, uh, three yolks, three yolks separated. Yeah. I'm gonna put into a bowl. I'm gonna put or your blender. I'm gonna put a mm -hmm. half a tablespoon. Oh, tablespoon, sorry, teaspoon of mustard, English mustard, Tea. good and hot. I'm using a uh, French mustard, and Dijon. And Dijon. And a Dijon. This much of a lemon. Show, so, uh, show me that again. Okay. You wanna. Blend it up, there might be a little bit of noise. So with this, we're going to have to add in the oil slowly very slowly, so you don't want it to split. That's what happened very to the last slowly. time. So 300 I'm, milliliters I'm gonna be... of neutral oil. Quickly gonna add in my herbs and my garlic. And uh, that should be this made. Yeah, patience really is the key. Patience is the key, yeah. Don't you don't wanna add in your oil too fast because you'll split the emulsion. Because mayonnaise is just an emulsion of oil and it's yolk. Yeah. So you're making things that wouldn't mix mix. That's what you're doing. Mix. Basically, yeah. Bit of, bit of salt, bit of pep. How's your bacon jam? Uh, it's reducing down quite a bit. Yeah, mine's nearly reduced. I'm just keeping a good eye on it, but it still has a, a bit to go. But I'll show you the mayo. Yeah, do the mayo. Ooh, look at that. I got some nice little jars of mayo here. Yeah. Homemade um, mayonnaise. Easy as that. Easy as that. It tastes amazing. We, mm. It really is as easy as that. Well, I'm gonna, I might go straight on to blend into tomato sauce now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's just feckin' go for it, Luke. Uh, while we're blending it, I'm gonna put the vinegar into uh, the, the jam. Yes. No, you got 25 milliliters of cider vinegar, and then a teaspoon, a tablespoon. Oh, sorry, yeah, 50 milliliters of cider vinegar and a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Yeah, I hear ya. Okay, now I'm gonna start blending my uh, my ketchup. Ketchup. Ketch ketchup. 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 <laughs> All right, let's mush it up. Mm -mm -mm. 
Oh, and the, the apple. The apple in it. Mmm. Mmm. And there's just this the smallest little spice. So it's fruity, it's. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. Yeah, thank you, Charlie Forbes, for that recipe. It's delish. So, your jam should be nice and sticky. Oh, bacon nice jam. And Who sticky. came up with the idea of bacon jam? Wh whoever it is, whiskey bacon jam. They're, they're damn clever, and this looks amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna have a taste. I'm gonna have a taste. I can't not. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's oh. dangerous. That is dangerous. That goes on steak. Oh. That would go on toast yeah. in the morning. Hot, burning my face oh, on a spoon. That's good. Uh, Dan, we've got nothing to taste this week. Well, we have been tasting it all, but there's no big meal at the end of it. Now, Ooh. you say that. Oh yeah, you made bread, didn't you? I made uh, a loaf of, uh, of soda bread last night, uh, based off mm. of the one we did last week. So, I get to eat this and you can watch me. Here you go, buddy. Oh, oh looks good. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's so decadent. That's amazing. Mm. I can't wait till I'm going to make a burger. Mm, I'll put on my burger with my chipotle yeah. ketchup, homemade mayonnaise, yummy. Mmm, we have a bit of mayo. Mmm. And while, while, you're, while you're stuffing your face, I've got an hungry to man. make. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that upside down? It's upside down. I'm having a little <laughs> hey, baby. You're having a baby. Congratulations, man. I'm having That's a baby. Beautiful. That looks like so You're kind of overshadowing my. Well. <laughs> You've been cooped up cooking, have you? <laughs> awesome, dude. That's such good news. Congratulations. From the bottom of my Thank heart. You. That's awesome. Give Luke no, some I love need, in the I need comments. To washing up. Yeah. <laughs> Because Sophie's <laughs> going to be off her feet now for a while. Yeah, dude, this, mm. I just need some slave labor, child labor. That's all, that's all I'm thought of. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's such good news. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, so mm. there'll, be baby, there'll be pregnancy episodes that we're going to have to do. Because what pregnancy it's women can't eat, what they can eat. Got baby food making episodes. Oh, it's yeah. all ahead of us. And the fact it's that all ahead of us. A, a young child to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be a great father. <laughs> You've made all the if mistakes, they don't, so. If they you don't know. listen. If they don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> all right. Well. well I shall I let you off to your uh, your bread then, Stephen. Because I think next week we're, um, we're going to my favorite region. We're not going to say where. It's just let's keep it a secret. We'll keep it a secret. But it's my really? favorite cuisine. It's my favorite yeah, cuisine. I... Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. All right, well, Stephen. Uh, give Sophie my best. And congratulations. Well, Thank you very much. Long fall. Aslan. Slong of all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>